Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Gokula Priya from Informatica GCS. Today we are going to see how to create data quality rule template using bulk import in CDGC. The agenda of the today's session is what is data quality rule template, how to create rule template in CDGC followed by a quick demo of how to bulk import rule template in CDGC. A data quality rule template is a business representation of the data quality rule definition. A data quality rule can be run on data element using a tool such as Informatica Cloud Data Quality or any other data quality application. When this rule and its parameters are represented in a business context, then it appears as a data quality rule template in data governance and catalog. Data quality rule template uses business term as a primary element. Now coming to how to create rule template in CDGC. There are two ways we can create data quality rule template in CDGC. The one is from the DGC UI and other through bulk import. You can refer to the below article for how to create the data quality rule template from CDGC UI. And coming to how to create rule template in CDGC using bulk import, we have three steps. One is, first one is, we need to download the template and fill the template with the required details and we need to upload the template again to the CDGC. Moving on to a quick demo of how to bulk import rule template in DGC. So this is a data governance and catalog service and this is a metadata command center. My, my metadata command center. So the combination of these two services we will call as a CDGC services. To create rule template we need to create it from the DGC service. To create it from the UK UI, you can just click on new business rules and data quality rule template and then create. Now you will give the this page will appear where we you need to provide the details to create a rule template. Now we are going to see how to bulk upload rule template in DGC. So for that we need to go to new import asset. First we need to download the template. So download import template and then download. Now here we need to select what are the asset types that we want to create. So here as said previously the rule template uses business term as a primary element. So we need to select business term, rule template and relationship because we are going to create a relationship between the rule template and the business term. This process will applicable only if you create a new business term. If you want to assign a relationship between the business term and the template which is already there like the business term is already present then we we don't need to select this business term option in my in this example we are going to create a new business term so I am just selecting this and click on download so after this a template will get downloaded so this template will have four sheets the one is business term data quality rule template, relationship and an action. In business term, we need to provide the details to create a business term and in template, we need to provide the details for to for the creation of rule template and in the relationship, we are going to build a relationship between the template and the business term. So I have already done this step, so I am just create, opening that uh, file. So here I have created one business term, business term underscore test and uh, these red fields are the mandatory fields so format is type and operation as create and then coming to data quality rule template the same thing I am just giving a rule template underscore test as a name and dimension as accuracy measuring methods and target and a threshold and the operation so here we are going to select this technical rule reference to, to select this technical rule reference here we need to provide the ID of the rule that that we have created in the data quality for example uh, this is the rule specification that I created in the data quality when you open the rule specification in the URL you will get the assert ID so this is this last one is the assert ID for this rule so you can just copy this one and paste it in under the technical rule reference so this is for data quality rule template so under relationship as said previously we are going to relate it with the template and the business term so source asset is rule template underscore test my rule template name and target asset is my business term name asset type and as, uh, target asset type should be exactly it, it is a case sensitive so it should be exactly same like this you can refer it from here as well data quality rule template and business term and the relationship type so we have different relationship for different thing for example if you want to create a is classified relationship between a business term and business term the relationship 
sh name should be like this same way to create between relationship between the template and business term the relationship name should be uh, primary object of rule template in nxa this relationship type is not there it will be added in the future release of the product so once it is done you can save the template and then go back again to the data governance and catalog again new import asset now we are going to importing the asset so import asset import now you can select the file that we have added all the details so this is the file that i have added all the details you can just open it so it will show if if there is any for example um, there is an the this is an empty template so if i open it it will show there is some files are missing or the file is empty so here with this you can uh, debug if there is any error in the template so once it is done you can click on start import so if you click on start import your job will be triggered so this is the job that i have already created for that excel file so if you could see there are three things got created one is business term the other one is data quality rule template and the last one is the relationship between the template and the business term you can also see what are the assets that got created by clicking on view details one business term business term underscore test and one uh, data quality rule template and rule template underscore test so if you open that rule template you will see that primary glossary business term is attached to the data quality template and if you go to the business term also and a relationship we will see that it is linked with that uh, rule template uh, you can also refer to the below article for how to create rule template from cdgc ui and how to bulk import the rule template in cdgc we would love to hear from you regarding the feedback of this session Thank you.